I'm getting my 40 gallon breeder ready for fresh water and I'm pretty excited about this I've been in the marine aquarium hobby for decades and uh, actually back in uh, oh I guess it was the early 1990s I had a freshwater tank with some angelfish and then later I took them out and got some cichlids and didn't really like the having the cichlids because uh, they tear apart plants and really what I love about freshwater is all the green and the plant in the aquarium and that's what I want to do after all these years uh, I still have a marine aquarium of course I love a marine aquarium I really would like to do another one but because of my my work uh, being a traveling job I wanted to do uh, I really do want to get back in the freshwater anyway and so I'm beginning today uh, the set back up with the fresh water. I cut this plexiglass to fit on the top here, a little airspace. Uh, and then I got lights coming in. I ordered uh, LEDs, but I just want to get a feel for what I'm going to do for aquascaping. I put a styrofoam block to kind of lift that up because I'm going to probably have two inches of gravel. And I thought about doing, and I hadn't decided yet whether I'm going to do this or not, having a dirt tank which a dirt tank in fresh water is you use um, just a, a formula of like three parts dirt some one part peat moss and some clay and uh, and then you have to cap that off so it doesn't mud up your tank you cap it off with regular gravel or sand and you do your decoration and then you can plant your plants in that and they'll feed off that for a year or two but I'm starting to think well I'm not sure I want to do that um, because in a year or two uh, when the plants need to be refed, uh, you know, I could continue to put fertilizer down into the, or um, I may just want to re-aquascape, in which case I'd have to stir up all that mud. So I still have a debate going on in my head what to do. Uh, I may just go with regular gravel and put the fertilizer in it and let the plants go. And Anyway, this is going to be, uh, I feel like a beginner, even though I've had fresh water before. Uh, but this is going to be a planted aquarium. I'm looking forward to it. I got a couple pieces of driftwood I may get some more and I hadn't quite figured out what I want to do with aquascape um, But there's so much on aquascaping in fresh water. It's fantastic on on you YouTube and uh, one of my greatest disappointments if you've watched my YouTube channel on uh, uh, on the marine side is that all the um, all, all the posts and uploads of videos for Aquascape and Marine Aquarium have nothing to do with the art. They all have to do with the how to do it, how to cement it, how to build the structure, what you use, all that kind of stuff. It's all the how-to, but nothing about the aesthetics, the art. And if you go to um, YouTube and you type in Aquascape and Freshwater, it's all about the art, the beauty, the greenery, the planning. Oh, it's just gorgeous. And... And I would love to bring that aquascaping uh, artistic side to um, the marine hobby. And I would love to do it with these 40 gallon breeders. But right now I'm just not in that position. And I'm very excited about the freshwater tank. So uh, over the next few months we'll see how this tank pans out. Uh, I need to get some gravel. I'm kind of tossed about what to do there. But as I just said as far as the substrate what I want to do but I'll make a decision in the next day or so and uh, start putting plants in and then start getting fish and we'll see how successful I can be with this and and, and I want to keep it low tax too that means I'm not going to go ahead and spend a couple hundred dollars on a CO2 bottle I just want to get uh, get easy plants um, and for easy maintenance just because I'm not around much so that's uh, what my plans are, what I'm going to be doing, and I hope you enjoy seeing that uh, as I learn and with my success and failures coming down the pike. Alright, well, until next time.